I'm uh, Mag Mike Maddock, Managing Director of Performance Engineered Solutions, but I'm here on behalf of Make UK as their 4IR champion. I'm going to say graphene, because graphene is a transformational material. Uh, it's still in uh, its evolution pro process with uh, nanoplatelets, but the, the market is moving forward. Many people think it's probably a technology that's 15 to 20 years ahead, but it's not. It's here now. We've got the uh, Geek Institute in, in Manchester. Uh, and in terms of graphene, uh, put in simple terms, it's 200 times stronger than steel. So that gives you a good starting point, and also it has the world's greatest level of electronic or electrical and uh, heat conductivity, so thermal conductivity. So it's going to revol revolutionize the marketplace and potentially push into 5.0, never mind 4.0. That's a really interesting one, and I'm going to have to go with graphene again, even though there's so many we can talk about. Uh, but one of the applications is graphene uh, in terms of nanoplate or powder form has now just been put into concrete. Uh, so with a 0.03% uh, additive of graphene into concrete uh, is making a 40% strength improvement. So you can either reduce the amount of concrete that you're going to produce or you can keep it out and make buildings 40% stronger. So less material. So therefore if you look at it in terms of uh, the carbon footprint, um, Concrete is the second most produced material in the world. If you adopted the graphene concrete globally, you would save 2% off the carbon footprint. Whilst we've got many issues in terms of connectivity, the alignment of skills to technology, the clue there is skills. It's skills and skills and skills. It's so important. You know, we do just about have the infrastructure. The UK, I think, is running behind on 4IR. But we don't have the people or the individuals to underpin that. We don't have the, uh, the training strategies in place for the future. And I think it's really important that we need to align that. And also the demographic change over the next 20 years of the population. We're going to have an aging population, so we need to upskill and retrain the people within, within our systems and, uh, and the structure. So the human capital approach is really important. We've got to have a robust investment strategy into education skills right across the board, really focusing on not only IQ but EQ, um, the higher education and the whole education system coming into place and being aligned. Every time we go to an event in Make UK, so what are the biggest challenges? You say skills. And then we get back, well, we've been talking about skills for the last 20 years. And the, and the technology and the, the topography of technology is moving, never mind every year, every three months. So we need to understand how we take that forward. So therefore, the strategy is really important, upskilling of the, the older population, the digital population, as in the younger demographic coming in and supporting that, to make sure the UK PLC can move forward and, and apply all the technologies that are, that are running in parallel. No, absolutely not. Two parts to that answer. Number one, which is the fundamental one, is we're just not aligned in understanding cybersecurity. And for us to move forward into the digital age, we need to protect ourselves. We need to protect ourselves from being hacked, uh, and protecting the UK PLC and currently we're not in that position. So you look at Cyber Essentials, bringing companies in line uh, and then larger organisations are exposed because of their supply chain aren't aligning to the, to the cyber model. So there's a lot to be done, so that, that, that is uh, a big red flag and a, and a danger. And then secondly, back to the skills. Uh, we're not educating people, we're not make, making people aware uh, and I think whilst the industry, especially in terms of the digital software and hardware, are moving ahead um, we're leaving the smaller organisations behind whilst the larger organisations probably have the cash and the ability to invest. And then going back to the smaller organisations, there is an assumption that 4.0 is going to cost them a fortune, a lot of time, and they, therefore they won't adopt it, which is not true.